All right, so uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising. Weekly general tarot reading, uh, February 17th to February 23rd, uh, 2020. And uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, guys, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my uh, website from which you can purchase such. So that being said, moving into the reading straight away here, the first card that is marking up the topic of your week, Virgo, is going to be the Three of Cups. Followed by the next one here, which represents the energies feeding and supporting the topic uh, that is to be the energy of the Magician card. <clears throat> Afterwards, what we do have it is the challenges uh, that you will have to overcome throughout the week here. We do have the Ten of Cups. Followed by the fourth card, which stands as the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the death card. Moving next, it is the one that shows how people are going to see you as. All right. So what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the two of pentacles. And the last one here that we do have, it is the guidance that Saro is offering to you, Virgo. That is to be the uh, ace of so, so those five cards, okay? Three of Cups, Magician, afterwards is Ten of Cups, then it is the Death card, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. All right, so, uh, well, this, the, the, this is the way, guys, where you actually make a, a difference. Now, the energies which are feeding up the topic here are the energies of the Magician. Now, the Magician is one of the two cards in Tarot that has the Infinity Symbol on top, all right? The other one it is the um, Strength Heart. And the Infinity Symbol is indestructibility, especially finding it into the energies. Whatever you do under those energies is going to be indestructible. Your projects, your career your uh, relationships that you do forge throughout the week as well. Everything of it cannot be taken away from you unless you decide to break it. So, you know, you do something this week, it is yours to enjoy. Uh, the Magician as an energy shows that throughout the week you are to kind of like step more for yourself, if I may express myself that way. It is because your sense of personal sovereignty is going to amplify itself and in generally this week these energies are gonna put you in a such situations that you are to find a way how to shine and to show that you are um worth it okay that you that you are actually capable of doing things that you are signing for of doing them either career-wise or either relationship-wise and whatever you go to perform you know, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, you are going to leave the impression that you do care about what you are doing, that you are engraving in it your heart, your soul, and you are giving everything you can, you know, to basically push that thing through, once again, either a career endeavor or a relationship endeavor. And that itself, throughout these energies, are going to win a lot of followers of yours. I mean, people are going to find you very compelling to um, to spend time with. People are going to find you very um, worthwhile to kind of like a, um, for example, exchange experience, for example, to share good fortune as well, and etc, etc. The Magician is a fantastic card as energies pointing that you are to be admired throughout the week. And another thing about the magician of the energies, it is that at least because now Mercury is retrograding and it has that, uh, you know, that disruption in communications with the Mercury retrograde. Well, while you are under the energy of the magician, it does not look like that those, uh, this influence is going to be that severe because the magician of the, uh, as an energy improves your communicational skills almost to a level of perfection as well. So if you want to negotiate something like a new salary, for example, better salary, like a promotion, like a new job or 
you want to display in front of your partner where you want to be together or in front of your uh, person of interest now that is the week you do it because you know that uh, it is the week where most likely mercury retrograde it's not going to influence you and that leads us to the next one here which is the topic of the uh, of the week of the tree of cups the uh, situation itself and uh, in the grand scheme of the magician, the Three of Cups points that you are to see immediate results in your actions. And that is something that is going to overflow you with joy, okay? That's seeing that you can simply do things, okay? You can simply make things happen here and there. And uh, that also is going to be taken very well from the people around. I mean, people are not going to criticize you. They are going to support you. It is because your vision with the Three of Cups completely is going to match or no, I haven't expressed myself correctly. Their vision for the future, say for the future of your career or for the future of your relationship is going to match with your vision as well. And that's why this week is going to be perfect, for example, to negotiate your promotion. This is because the vision of promotion that you do have is going to be shared more or less with, um, with your boss. So they may start considering you more and more of giving you that place that you want to go for and uh, lastly here as a situation is a theme and topic three of cups is about cooperation and as you are going to be so powerful with the energies of the magician it is highly advisable that you do share that good fortune with the people around as well meaning that if someone needs help well then it is your job to do it so so you can win that person as a, a follower once again because this is how the magician operates uh next one that we do have here is going to be the challenges that you will have to face here virgo and that is the ten of cups so as a challenge uh and in this follow-up ten of cups it is not that big of a deal guys ten of cups here does represents that part of our human nature that eventually we want more to happen to us regardless of how much we we have regardless of that we are fine comfortable right now we do want more and you may not have that nature and that is to be the challenge to um, allow this nature of yours to unfold you know to want a better experience into your relationship to want a better experience into your job as well you know to want a or to strive for a better payment, for a better salary, you know, or for a deeper emotional commitment in between you and your partner. That is to be the challenge. You, I would say, forcing yourself to want these things to happen. Because the Ten of Cups here points that you are going to be likely, at the end of the week, you are most likely are going to find yourself in a rather comfortable spot, okay? And it's... Um, uh, it just is going to be a matter of a, uh, I can't say that it is personal commitment, but let's say personal awareness, you know, for how much more you can stretch your limits. And another thing about the Ten of Cups, it is that uh, this card marks the point where life becomes even more, more worthwhile. And as a challenging card, it may be challenging for you to see that your life is becoming even more worth worth its uh, its while. Uh, the next one here it is the gift and the blessing that you are going to enjoy throughout the week, Virgo, and that is the death the death card. And in this particular position, the death card it is uh, considered only as a liberation from a um, endeavors or people around you that simply they have no purpose whatsoever taking place in your life outdated concepts outdated ideas you know outdated projects outdated people people which um i don't know how to say it in english um well they are frame 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 time oh just forget it i don't know how to say it in english i have to check it into uh into the di dictionary here but yeah let's say a outdated um subjects are no longer take place in your life and the good thing about the death card um in that particular state it is that you can replace them with something that actually breeds productivity for you moving forward into the future meaning replacing outdated project with a new one with a new one replacing outdated friend with a new one replacing outdated lover with a a new one for example 
Next one, it is how people are going to take on you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the impression of the Two of Pentacles. And it is highly correlatable with the Death card, okay? You're going to give the impression that things that are in flux, that everything is in flux into your environment and you have no problem whatsoever to abandon and to forlorn, to leave stranded subjects that does not correlate with your new perspective because you are going to show yourself very adaptable, very agile into the change and, the, and that you can make use of everything new that comes around. Sadly, you can do just so much. What I mean is that you do have time for just so much things and therefore there will be replacements, okay? Or substitutions, if you will, at that point. So people are going to see you someone who is, um, how can I say it? In a process of, uh, of rebuilding or reshaping their life, if you will, or the process of finding happiness, if you will, or finding the best things for them that are to come around. And that is another reason why you are not going to face criticism because people are going to, people can judge you for that. You want to be lucrative, successful, happy, loved, and etc. etc. And if you're not finding it where you are right now or what you are within what you have at that point, well, obviously you're going to seek them elsewhere and no one once again can adjudicate you for it. Uh, the last one, it is the guidance that Saru is offering here. We do have the Ace of Swords and that is actually the uh, only a bit negative card in the reading. And the Ace of Swords here points that you need to um, exert rather big mental strength and, uh, uh, and act intellectual uh, awareness. And it is related to the Ten of Cups, okay? To identify the reality of the situation and to kind of like aim or lock your aim upon these people or endeavor that are to offer you a better unfoldment moving into the future rather than to stick to the old things that they simply serve no favor whatsoever. But once again, a, a big hope here gives the death card pointing that it will happen almost on its own accord. All right, and the only problem with the Ace of Swords here as a guidance it is that you may feel a bit bad about it, you know, a bit guilty that you are no longer keeping up communication with that person or that you have to abandon this project. But with the Ace of Swords, you're going to quickly going to get the hang of the awareness here and this feel, feeling of guilt or remorse is going to um, abate very very quickly so that being said virgo this was your weekly general tarot reading february 17th to february 23rd 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh we are going to see each other around until then bye